uh, just a disclaimer, guys. Um, this tutorial is a little long and also choppy because I don't really know how to build these from memory. And uh, the staircase, I'm working on a better version of it, so it will move way faster than it did, like substantially faster. So I definitely want to do that before I release it because as it is, it's kind of slow. Anyways, on to the tutorial because it's long enough as it is. Hey guys, if you saw my last video, you saw all these light contraptions that I built. And uh, today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to build uh, each one of these. So you'll be able to build them yourself. And uh, if you just are looking to build a specific one, like maybe you only want that one, uh, there will, here's some links to the uh, locations in the video, so you can just skip to it. And I'm going to start off with the bottom block swapper. So you just start off uh, building your base. Oh, oh, it's right here. That was right the first time. And uh, you want to leave just the one block gap between the pillar and the two pushers, just like any block swapper. And uh, now I'll start out with the. Um, input make sure I have this right I don't wanna start building it have it be wrong oh yeah I was wrong alright <laughs> oh no I just placed that block first it wasn't wrong yeah anyway so uh, that's this is what starts it this is a um, pulse limiter got that right finally and uh, pretty much what it does is it'll turn this button into a one tick pulse. You can see that that only turns on momentarily. And that's really useful for um, trying to compact circuits. Because then, you know, if you need to have an action happen right after another one, instead of having to wait six ticks, you only have to wait one tick. So that's really, really incredibly useful. Um, great stuff. So this is your um, input and uh, line switcher. This is white stuff. And I'll go ahead and build the um, input path to green down here so I don't get stuck later on trying to do that. There we go. <coughs> and now I'll do blue. And blue is, uh, it's the easier one. Or at least it's the easier one to figure out. <coughs> yeah. Same throat. Alright, so starting down here, put a redstone there, and then two four repeaters, and then a two repeater right there, and a four repeater right there. And that's the bottom. Now for the top. You just place, and this is the block swapper block, so uh, that will actually move when it's in the switch to the green side, this will be up. Uh, and that's just a nice little thing that I discovered that I could use to um, compact this circuit a little bit more. That's a four, and that's a four, and that's the opening, oh wait, no, forgot one thing. There we go. Don't want to miss that. Not going to work at all. <laughs> that's important. Alright. And that's just uh, what that does. Is that once the signal goes through, say... Oh, say uh, it's in that position. Then once the signal goes through, it comes back around and loops up. And then we'll turn this one off. And then it will switch it to the green circuit. And uh, now for the green circuit... It's uh, pretty easy, too, once you can see how it's built. Like that, and over here, block there. This is a 1, that's a 4, and that's a 1. 
This is one of those really annoying spots where it just needed one more tick, so like you have to make it a little bit bigger. I didn't like that, but you know, it is what it is. And then you place a block down here with a redstone on it. And then this block right here, you place a four repeater on. In case you don't um, really know where that is, it's right there. Your four repeater is right there, right next to it. So just right there is where you want to put it. And a block there. And uh, then down here. Oh, it's going to be hard to get to now. All right, I'm going to destroy this. Rebuild that later. So put a block there, or not a block, a uh, repeater, repeater, oops, repeater there, just like that, you got three repeaters, um, hugging this block with two of them, and then that's next to the other repeater, and then it's a block right where that repeater is. So I'll go ahead and put these back now so you can follow it. And uh, half slabs are really useful. I use them much more often now that I know how you can exploit them. So you just place blocks like this. And you go underneath and you place half slabs like that. And then you can uh, send a line up in just a two block area with no delay, which is just a I love that. I really hope they don't change it. It's super useful. And you place the block right over this repeater. And you got a block here. I'm going to remove this one just because it's unnecessary. And then like that. And then you got your um, normal piston there. And then another normal piston here. And I'll go ahead and put that green block there because that's what it's set to. And you got one repeater. And then I thought I was super clever when I came up with this uh, fix because it was being dumb and wanted to be a little bit bigger. But I was like, no, you're not allowed to be bigger. So I discovered that you can uh, trick it with a minecart if it will work properly. Um, let's see. Here, I'll run it through its circuit. Of course, I took out the block that I need. <laughs> ah, it's glitchy. All right. So you can see now that it is, uh, there's no block there, so that's actually not powering anything. But it's not like it matters, because that track doesn't get powered when I press it this time. Huh. That was interesting. Definitely should have worked. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's important. Uh, put a piece of redstone right there. Don't forget that, or else it's not gonna work. And then you also need a block here, or else it's gonna go up this line because uh, redstone can travel up half slabs, but it can't travel down half slabs. It was stolen because I forgot one. Oh. Jesus. It's going terrible right now. Anyways, this thing works. <laughs> if you don't suck at trying to run it. <laughs> there we go. So you can see this uh, minecart makes it double extend, which is really nice. And then, um, I don't know what it's based on, but randomly when you unextend it, it automatically restacks itself. Um, like, there's no extra moves in there. It goes from fully extended to restacked just by moving that minecart. No idea what's causing that, but it really made it useful. Um, I just kind of realized that this broke. <laughs> Alright. Um, if you're still around, even though I just fucking blew it, uh, I forgot something. That's why it didn't work. Need another two repeater right there. And now it will work. Uh, let's, let's make sure that I am telling the truth. Set to the green one. Alright. 
Now it will work as commanded by me. There we go. So now you have your own block swapper. It's nice and compact. You can fit it pretty much anywhere. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one. Now I'll move on to the next. All right, now for the downward version. You can see that I've already set up the um, pistons. And you want to leave yourself at least three blocks between the ground and your bottom piston. Or top piston, I don't know what to call that. The one that actually moves the blocks. And so now you just go over three. And then you can put a sticky piston here. And then build it just build another one of these uh, poles. So you build, you just split it into two lines. And then, let's see. I don't think that's there. Oh, it is right there. All right. And then this one goes up. Not there. There. So you want to leave three blocks of space between these. And just put your uh, red wool there. And this is your um, swapper for this line. Of course, that doesn't work because I don't have the other one set up. But yeah, that's your swapper. Now for this part. There's a one. And wrap it around here. And underneath this block, you place a normal piston, and then another block. And then up here, you have a torch and a repeater. Because I have no idea how else to do something like I don't know. It was the easiest way I could find. And then you have a all right, and then you have another repeater, and then a block, redstone, repeater, another block, drop down. And really understanding how redstone all interacts with each other, like all the pieces of redstone, and what you can do with them, will really help uh, your understanding of building circuits and stuff. Like for instance, that's this is a really nice trick um, to get a signal to go down. And then over here, again, you place another repeater, and this one's a two repeater. And then right here, this is this would be the ceiling. You uh, place one redstone and two redstone, and it's got to be two, because if it's like this, then it powers this thing, and that throws off the circuit, makes it not work properly. Now for the yellow track. You just place it like this. So like you're going up in a helix with blocks pretty much. You place a repeater here, redstone here, repeater here, and now it will reset itself. And then you place, uh, let's see here. Okay. You place redstone here and a repeater. It's all been one repeater so far, just in case you uh, missed it. And then another normal piston to uh, undo this. This is, this is an RS nor latch. Um, there's nothing fancy about it. They're really useful. Uh, so if you can figure out how to build basic logic gates. Like the only logic gates I really use ever are RS NORs and T flip flops. Cause that's really all you need. Like everything else is just extra in my opinion. Like I'm sure it's useful for when you get the really complex stuff, but for me it's not necessary. Cause I don't build computers in Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, 
so as you can see it's just kind of continuing on very easily get another four repeater here oops that's not like it's going to do anything up there but may as well not have it and let's see here that's a one all right so then you place redstone oops, redstone here and a four repeater and a one repeater and right down here it's a three repeater and redstone and that's your oh all right uh what i missed is that this is not a one repeater this is a four repeater so make sure to fix that now it should uh work properly there you go double extends and then it pulls it back in replaces the block so that's your ceiling version of it so i'll move on to the wall version all right now the wall one i've already set up the blocks and everything and again you want to give yourself a little bit of space between the ground and where you're building so let's get started your um, input and switcher will be over here just one block off of uh, where the purple block is and then This is your switcher. Be made very easily. And uh, got a repeater over here. And then it goes down like that, back up. much you got two stacks three only because that's there right now don't take that as you know whatever it looks like this I'm pretty sure you got shape recognition that's uh, good enough to see that and uh, then you just put one repeater one repeater four repeater and then redstone everywhere else and you can see that it's resetting itself here to set to the other track I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Seriously. I just fucking dick around with redstone stuff comes out. Yeah, four repeater here. Then a block. And you send the signal down. Alright, and then from that redstone, you place a normal piston. And then another normal piston over here. Oops, one more over. Over here. You got two blocks in between. And you have. So this is just another RS nor latch. They're in all of them. So that uh, the double extension can stay extended. And then on this side. Let's see. That. All right, so it looks like that pretty much your redstone's there, and you make a nine platform, except this corner is raised up, and you place a block behind that. So, redstone here, and you put a repeater here, and make sure I got all the timings right on these. One, one, all right. Then you put another repeater here, and a repeater there, and a repeater there. And then that's your uh, thingy. Uh, what's it called? Your open process. <laughs> your thingy. <laughs> the 
fuck am I talking about? Uh, so yeah. That should work now. On to orange. So orange was a little weird in how I had to do it. So it's a uh, input is actually a block down from this, you know, that transferring down thing you can do with it. And you here. This one's really weird. Yeah, and you definitely want a block here, or else you're gonna. This is going to uh, cycle itself endlessly with nothing you can do about it except put that block there. So I'll put that down first. You have a one here. And you place a block here. And then you're coming down from your feed line. You build a little platform like this. One repeater, four repeater, and a one repeater. And then another tricky thing you can do with redstone. In uh, the tutorial, um, it's nice to know how to build the thing that you know you're looking at the tutorial about. But it's also nice because you can um, pick up some redstone um, wiring tricks. Uh, so yeah, if you pay close enough attention, you can really build some cool stuff later on yourself because I mean this isn't too advanced you know tricky redstone trickery but uh, it's it's pretty advanced 442 four, four, and a 2 and then you can see that the feed line cuts into there so you need to block that off with the uh, insulation block. Uh, yeah, one thing I forgot, you need to have your reset for orange, and that's just you place two blocks like that diagonally across from where it would have its uh, block set, and that will cause it to reset itself. Now it should work. I didn't have it set to the right circuit before. So you can see, it's nice and smooth. You got yourself your own one now. Maybe you learned a few things on how to wire with redstone. So I'll move on to doing these three now. All right, I'm just gonna build um, one section since it's modular. You know, you just extend this that I'm about to build as far as you want. Um, as long as you can figure out how to extend the lines and. Uh, I have a demonstration right here. I didn't go over it in the video, but this is how you can easily extend the uh, lines so you can make it, you know, a hundred block long pop out light thing or whatever. And uh, yeah, so this is just how you do it. You have it feed in like that, and then you have a separate line that goes at least, uh, you know, 15 blocks so that when this powers in, it doesn't circle back around on itself and power itself. It doesn't really apply to this because it's both repeaters going in, but for one down here, you might end up doing something like that. Um, like that. So like you'd have uh, redstone all along there, and then you have at least 15 blocks. So it wouldn't be like power, power all along here, back around, and you just have a battery. So you need to leave at least 15 blocks when you're extending the signal. And you kind of have to play with the timing. Um, I actually haven't tested that. I'm just assuming that that's true. Anyway, all right, <laughs> build time. So you place a block there. And let's put our blocks in place. And... Let's see. All right, I went ahead and placed some blocks. Um, so a very easy way to look at this is you have one block on top of this one, one block on top of that, and then off the back of this um, piston, 
you just have a diagonal of four and then a diagonal of two. So it's just a really easy way of looking at it. So uh, you should be able to build that. Sorry, I didn't do step by step. I uh, turned off my capture and forgot to turn it back on. And then repeaters are really easy. You just do one, one, four. And then this is redstone. That's all redstone. And um, I believe that is it. Except for orange. So orange, I'll just go ahead and add that in now. Because when you're building this, you're going to want to build this orange part first. Or else you're not going to be able to easily get in and place all these repeaters. If it's, you know, long like this, you don't have, you can't stand here because there's a block there. So you have to kind of get in here and place them one by one. So if you want to make it easy for yourself, build these orange ones first. And, yeah. Alright, time to build the timing. Go ahead and let's see how many blocks off that be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And mm, let's see. Yeah, it is one forward. Okay. Then one forward. So this is your input. Now I'm not bothering to shrink these down. If you want to, you can, because it's. Um, it's not as compact as it could be. But again, laziness is a, it's a crippling ailment. Worthy of disability pay. <laughs> I've got a strange sense of humor. So this is a um, another version of uh, a block swapper or a, a track swapper. Sorry, a track swapper and a input. And you can see that it's using sticky pistons instead of normal pistons. And what it does, we we'll just go ahead and show you. You can see that it's on that track now. When I press it, it is now switched to this track. And when I press it again, it switched again. This is just another version because I was having trouble actually um, getting the line to feed in and switch itself. And let's see. All right, moving on to purple. Start off with that. So you got one, two, over, up, over, four. This is all redstone, and I believe this is a one. Yeah. Then you have a one repeater here, and then coming down from this block, right there, you have a repeater feeds into another block, goes down, powers this redstone, continues down, and see here. One, two. So it's just got two one repeaters. Place your normal piston with. Oh, and then from there, place this one. And you kind of have your um, RS Nor right here. And then another one like that. All right, then it goes here and up like that. And you got your piston there, normal piston, so it can reset itself. Put a block there for the here. I believe that's a repeater. Yeah, four, two, one. So you got a four and a two. And oops. 
like that and a one and that's how you uh, get the signal into this line oops yeah all those torches are necessary totally you know it and two blocks here redstone on them. and coming off of this one you have I believe it's four four or three fours so you got three four beaters and then heading down like that these are two fours you got a four and a four and that should uh, that should do it oh yeah that should do it you know except for it's missing all of its redstone don't forget that part <laughs> all right figured out why it was breaking it is because I only built um, one part of it so strangely enough if these are like this instead of lines this will not work so it does that right and then it does this for whatever unknown reason if these are not like this so uh, that's not really gonna be a problem because I mean the whole reason of this is that you have an extended line so it was really only a little weird glitch that I encountered in this tutorial. Anyways, random rambling. Uh, this one's done. Hopefully you could follow it all. That's not supposed to be like that. Um, yeah. Go on to the next. Alright, now I'm going to build the bottom um, section. Let's go ahead and build it block by block with me. I'm getting kind of tired of <laughs> building these and talking because I don't talk much and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking senseless. Alright. Here. Place a block here. Get your stack. Oh yeah. And uh... For this one, it's a little different. You need to have a four block gap in between the two of them instead of a three block. And you also need to have the side that has two blocks um, away from the center uh, is this side. So you want it. Oops. That's annoying. There we go. Oops. So you want to have one like that. And then over here, you just place it in the normal spot like that, place a little thing there, and place that there, and uh, down here you have your redstone, and like that, and up here, you can have another one, redstone, this, like that, here, 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 place torches and a repeater and a repeater and then redstone another repeater and redstone all right um, I built this one too close to here so I'm going to have to build it off of this side but you just go off of this and you go one block higher and you build ten blocks off and that's where you put your button. You just go ahead and destroy this now. And then you just build another one of these uh, block swapper, or not block swapper, um, input line switcher things. I believe that's how it goes, like that. Yes, it is. All right. So. This one works the same as that one over there. It uses sticky pistons instead of a normal um, RS nor. So you, you 
your sticky piston there and there. And place your things. I got it like that because Dion you know, is supposed to switch. And uh, I'll go ahead and do the green line first. Alright. So, oops. Got one, then a four. And. Oh, now the four goes here. And you got a three. Then put your redstone down. Uh, let's see here. And got this. This heads down. This is a one repeater. That. And then off of this one, you. Alright, and then you go one, two, two repeater, three blocks place a uh, normal piston oh wait no this is yeah never mind that's the wrong orientation it's a normal piston like that got your thing and let's see I believe that comes in from this side like that That power is all this stuff. Alright, yeah. So then it comes over here. And. Powers this. And then. I forgot something. You need another block here with the redstone on it. And then a repeater down in here. Oops. Three. See, and this is. What this does is it makes it so that. Uh, this will pull down after this one so that when it restacks it doesn't leave this piston here and then pull like this one will retract without pulling it down with this timing thing it makes it so that it extends and then retracts so that's what this is you just uh, feed your redstone over all right uh excellent place in the wrong spot so just shift all this in one. I'll go ahead and move this down too, just to make it easier. So like that. And then coming down from this one, use redstone and a four repeater. And you have a one repeater. And you just lead this over into this line over here. Another one repeater. And let's see. This one feeds over into this line, like that, and it's a three repeater. Alright, a um, few things that I messed up on, because I clearly don't know how to build my own creations. Uh, this is a three repeater, it was set to a one repeater, and this was a three repeater, and it's meant to be a four repeater. And now it works, and so should yours. Again, uh, <laughs> you can see that this is, you know, fuck compactness. <laughs> this is a sprawl of wires. And, uh, so now I'll go ahead and do the bottom one, and that will be it. Alright guys, this is the last one, and like the floor, it needs to have a two space here. So you need that four spaces in between your two normal pistons. Now you just extend out nine blocks. Three, three, nine. That's your button. Then you just uh, build another one of these things. Should be pretty good at it by now. And over 
here. Oops. Like that. Like that. <laughs> and, uh, and the redstone there. The way I got this one to work is I used a RS Nor, like I have most of the other designs. Um, yeah, that was really ineffective getting that block there. All right. I know what I'm doing. So you go one, two, three, four, like that. And then from there, you just uh, fill it out with this and you can use any transparent block I just have a half slab because I like how it looks all right let me uh, build all the this stuff first actually because I'll just make it easier to see now a good way to explain this part is this is a five diagonal just just like that here like that kind of what that looks like. So just put this here, two diagonal, like that, and then an L, like that. Memorize my creations. Once I build them, I make a schematic or something, and then just like drop them in places I want it. Four, four. All right, there we go. So like this, oops, not there. Like this, here, here, here. Redstone, you can go ahead and do that because it messed up earlier without it doing that. And redstone here, like that. And then you have to have redstone up here. Then this is a four. And you just, uh, and this is again, this is that thing I was talking about last time, how you need to have it extend and then retract and that's what this timing does for it and that's the block so it doesn't do anything all right okay so add this these redstone lines here I didn't do that and then you have a four like that like a four platform is what I meant then a four repeater and one of the blocks is up so it sets itself and let's see then it goes up one and I believe that's a one repeater yep and then two fours no a four and a one off of this so four one and that powers this block has redstone on it, which powers, there we go, that thing, oops, not like that, like that, it has its block, and you build the um, RS Nor again, Peter, <sighs> block here, here, here. I believe that's a one repeater. Yeah, it is. All right. One repeater. And then you got this up, up again, then up again. Messed this whole part up. My bad. Like that. And just shift all this over one, I guess. Oops, show with that. Alright. So then you have a one, and a four, and another four. And then here's the three. And then a four up here. And redstone there. And then four, one. So then off of this, oops, place that vitally important redstone. So you got a four, a one, then you go over like this here, 
here. And then this is a one, this is a four, and then redstone. Oh. Um, did not build the reset over here. My bad. That's powered via this. Yo, is that what? That's one feeder. All right. Um, let's try that again. All right, nothing happened. All right, here we go. Now it should retract properly. There we go. And double extension and retraction. This is kind of tricky. I'll show, go ahead and show you why it needs to, because it's pretty cool. Um, and this is another red. I, like I just discovered this, so you can see that I just moved the blocks that um, our repeater is sitting on. But because there is no block update near it, while well, that block is moving in underneath it, it doesn't break, and it's still sitting on a solid block. So the timing is really specific. If it's like one tick you know, one way or the other, then that always breaks. So it has to be exactly like this. This is not gonna work. But uh, yeah, there you go. That is all of the lighting uh, components. So I hope that all made sense. And honestly, I, I did not think this was too great a tutorial, but uh, hopefully it conveyed the points. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, go ahead and like and subscribe for more, and uh, releasing that staircase pretty soon.